Hi, Emma here. Well, the e-reader is fast rising to the top of the Christmas present list for this year, so it looks like 2010 could well be the year of the e-book. Which is a good thing, because right now I don't see that we have a lot of choice. What do you mean? I hear you cry. There are thousands of e-books available out there. How many more do you need? Well, let's just consider for a moment how we choose a book to read. As I see it, there are three ways, either browsing, recommended or specific title. Either we're browsing through the shelves of the bookshop or the library, just looking for anything that's interesting, or we've had a, a certain book recommended to us, or there's a specific title that we're looking for because we're interested in a certain subject and we've done a bit of research and we found a certain title that looks really good. Well, when I'm looking for a book to read, it usually comes under that last category. There is a certain subject that I'm interested in and I've surfed the net and maybe I've found one or two titles that would be really good if I could just get hold of them. Now that might not always be the case, I might be on holiday and just browse through a bookshop, but generally speaking, I don't even pick up a book if uh, I don't think it's absolutely right for me. I don't want to waste my time and money reading a book that I might get halfway through and decide that I really don't like it. So. When I say that there isn't much choice out there, I guess what I'm really saying is that when I'm looking for titles, I'm not finding a lot available that I would like to read in ebook format. However, another Kindle user here in Australia said that he had found so many titles that he really wanted to read, he had them all queued up on his Kindle and didn't have enough time to read them. There was only a couple of titles that he couldn't get here in Australia, and that was down to copyright issues. So, Maybe it just comes down to what sort of books you're looking for. This Kindle user was buying uh, technical and sci-fi books, whereas I'm usually hunting for reference books or books under the category of arts and literature or Christian books. Now, it's interesting to note that the page navigation of the Kindle is great for linear stuff like fiction, but for larger reference books with perhaps poor indexing, they can be quite cumbersome to tackle. Maybe that's one reason why I don't find a great deal of choice in the reference books in ebook format. But looking ahead to 2010, I see that we're going to uh, see most magazines and newspapers published in the e reader format. And surely that will uh, push the developers to refine their page navigation capabilities. And then I think we will see publishers turn their focus more to the ebook format. Well, I, for one, am really hoping that 2010 we're going to see lots of books published in ebook format. I'd really like to see every book published in ebook, whether it gets to print or not. Well, if you have an e reader, do tell me how you, how you like it, what you think of it, and uh, tell me how easily you are finding ebooks that you really want to read. Send me an email to elog at scsmmedia.com. Talk to you next time.